Publishing is a growing industry in Pakistan. Uh, it's not a, a, a very highly developed industry, but it's coming up. And I think one of the reasons that it's coming up is that uh, there is so much writing going on in Pakistan. There's a lot of research uh, going on and there are so many subjects to write about. I think Pakistan is a writer's delight uh, and a researcher's delight because uh, of the vast number of themes and subjects that they can cover in Pakistan. There are stories about uh, children who are kidnapped and made into camel kids. There are hidden treasures of archives in people's homes. There are stories of honor killings. There are stories of women being buried alive. And, uh, and of course, there are some wonderful stories as well. There are stories of courage, of um, social work as being done by Eidhi. So there, there is so much to write about in Pakistan, and our authors are doing that. Um, so actually, because uh, writing is coming up, is, it is flourishing, it's thriving. Uh, publishers will necessarily, uh, I think, uh, be a part of the growth. It is uh, actually uh, publishing and writing in Pakistan so far is an urban uh, uh, phenomenon, but uh, I think uh, a lot of uh, the stories are based in rural areas, uh, such as Daniel Mohinuddin's uh, book, uh, about, this, uh, about the Punjab uh, rural area, other, other worlds, other windows. Um, Zulfikar Ghose's book, The Murder of Aziz Khan. So whereas the writers are living in urban areas, uh, there are some uh, who have experience of rural areas and are writing about, about those. Um, but uh, it is more or less an urban phenomenon. As a publisher, I feel that uh, I have an enormous responsibility uh, and my role is uh, to project Pakistani writers, to help give them a place in the sun, to protect their, uh, their, cop their work, to protect their copyright, ensure that they get a fair return uh, for, the, for their work, so that they can continue writing on a full-time uh, basis. Uh, book piracy is a huge uh, issue in Pakistan. The trouble is that whenever either an author is, doesn't become very popular, if they do, then their books are pirated. So either way, they don't get enough royalties to support them. And you end up with, uh, you know, even authors like Faiz Ahmed Faiz, Mushtaq Ahmed Yusfi, working, um, holding full-time jobs. Mushtaq Ahmed Yusfi has worked in a bank all his life. Whereas, uh, you know, just compare that to J.K. Rowling, who is one of the richest women in the world, richer than the Queen of England. Unfortunately, uh, this is not the case in Pakistan and writers have to take up jobs to support themselves and it's a huge loss for the country. It's a huge loss for our national heritage because actually, you know, the corpus of uh, the work that they do gets reduced enormously. Um, well, actually there are, there are pockets. There are different kinds of books that are popular in different, in different languages. In, uh, in the Urdu um, publishing area, um, poetry is extremely popular. And uh, poetry and fiction actually are very, very popular in Pakistan. I mean, people like um, Ahmad Faraz, Faiz uh, Ahmad Faiz, of course, Zehra Nega, Fahmida Riyaz, Kishwar Nahid, uh, Iftikhar Arif, uh, who write poetry in Urdu, uh, their books sell very well. They are very, very popular. Uh, similarly, Urdu fiction writers are extremely popular. In English, now we have a, a new brand of, um, well, I wouldn't say new because um, People like Babsi Sidwa, Zulfikar Ghos have been writing for decades. So English fiction is also doing extremely well. Uh, we have a large body of authors and they are growing. People like Muhammad Hanif, Musharraf Ali Farooqi, H.M. Naqvi, Kamla Shamsi, and Nadeem Aslam who now lives in the UK, but we claim him because he is originally from Pakistan. Uh, Mohsen Hamid. So a young group of authors is growing enormously. And recently, there have been some younger authors who have uh, done very well. Sharyal uh, Fazli uh, and uh, Shazaf Heather, who has written a book, um, which has uh, her first book. So I think it's a very vibrant and a growing scene in all the different uh, segments. Well, um, uh, authors who are writing in English are very popular. They have won, uh, they have been shortlisted. Mohammed Hanif was shortlisted for the uh, Man Booker Prize. 
and um, H.M. Nakhvi won the DSC um, South Asian Literature Prize and um, Mr. Jamil Ahmed has been shortlisted for the DSC uh, South Asian Literature Prize. So these are authors who are writing originally in English and that is the only way that they can be read abroad and they are, they are winning prizes, many of them have been shortlisted for the Orange Prize, the Guardian Prize. So we are uh, very proud to say that uh, I think our authors are well known internationally. They are competing on an equal basis with authors from uh, with international authors. Uh, but what we need is for our Urdu writers as well to have the same opportunity, and that's why I feel that translation is a very a very important business. We need to focus on translation, and this is something that I've been working on. We have translated Fahmida Riyaz into Urdu, we have translated um, Kishor Nahid, Iftikhar Arif and we are continuing with this. We are currently working on Zehra Nigar's translations and we have done uh, many uh, volumes of Faiz's translations into English, uh, Iqbal, uh, Alama Iqbal's translations. I think that is a key to introducing Pakistani um, creative writing to the outside world through translations. Well, I'm delighted to say that um, the Karachi Literature Festival has become a very successful um, event and uh, I have organized three so far. Mr. Asif Farooqi, the Urdu writer and critic, is a co-founder with me. Both Asif Farooqi and I founded this in 2010 and on the 15th, 16th and 17th of February, we will be having our fourth Karachi Literature Festival. Again, the main purpose was to give a platform to Pakistani authors to project them and for their words to enter into the consciousness of the Pakistani, of the wider Pakistani public. Because it's very important for authors to be connected uh, with their readers. And uh, one of our authors who attended the festival last year, Hanif Qureshi from the UK, said that he was delighted with the feedback that he got from the audience. Uh, so this is what we want, we want to connect our authors with the audience and the, audi and the readers with the authors because only then can this kind of relationship be developed where the ideas that um, our authors write about have an impact in, on the minds of readers and also our authors, as I said, they deserve a place in the sun and it is the job of publishers such as us to provide them with these opportunities and to support them so that they can write more and add to the cult cultural heritage of Pakistan. Uh, we are getting about 100 authors this year and we get an audience of 15 to 20,000 people. We have four or five parallel sessions and uh, it is not just in English, we get Urdu authors as well and this year we are getting some Sindhi and pa uh, Punjabi writers as well. So it's actually a, a multilingual um, festival and I'm, it, it is really very, it's a major event in Karachi and it's something that people look forward to all the year round.